what a beautiful day still warm enough to run this it's about 85 outside and we're doing major garage renovations right buddy so I was able to, we've been here one year, as you know. Uh, what I did for mama was I stored a ton of boxes and I told her after one year, whatever we don't go in, can we store or throw out? So what a good honey. She just went through all these boxes and sifted through them, took some stuff in the house, uh, some stuff's going to friends, that's going to storage and trash. And it eliminated two shelves right here that created a wall that was really hard for me to negotiate in the garage all the time if i put the razor on this side there was no room over there if i put the trailer which is outside in here there was no room over there so i've been looking forward to that for a year we got that done and the reason why we got that done is we are going to drag <laughs> we're going to drag the drag, the drag in. frame in here <laughs> and we are going to start working on it today and uh, after we get this a little more organized. So finally, we're gonna do a project that a lot of people like. Some people like my hobby videos, but most people like, if you look at the videos, they like the how-to stuff, the trailer stuff, the mechanical stuff, you know, the put together, weld, cut, fabricate stuff. So we're gonna post a video here uh, soon with some of that stuff when we uh, actually how learn how to properly drag a road. I shaved that for a Halloween costume. Since 91 I had that. Everyone says I look funny. So this is going to be the top up side. This is going to be the dirt side because these are flush with these supports all the way down. So we want the expanded metal fixed flush all the way down. Now this gate is 70, 76 and a half by... 60 by 60 so obviously what we're gonna have to do with a 4 by 8 sheet of expanded metal we're gonna have to do the 8 foot section this way which is gonna leave a gap here because they're only four feet wide but the cool thing about that is I need to leave this open because if you looked in the last few times we dragged the road, the sand is going up into whatever's here and not escaping. So that'll let the sand escape this way. So this will get full of sand, which doesn't really matter. So, and then somehow we'll fix the tractor tire to it. I'll probably tow it without the tractor tire at first just to see how it works. And then we'll fix a tractor tire to the middle, distributing that weight evenly. And I wanted to do some kind of radius here like this just in case we come across a rock it doesn't catch but i kind of looked at that and thought let's just bolt the thing together let's get the expanded metal on the bottom and let's go drag it around see how it works So, fits on there nice. These are going to be exposed when I'm dragging. And I think these are probably going to be 
at risk of being torn up and then eventually tweaking the whole thing. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to self tap this into place in a few places and then weld a million welds all around the whole thing to make sure it's on there and then come back with one of these and go like this to protect the edge here all across the front. And then I think I'll do the same thing here to protect the side all the way down so that this stuff is secure. I realize that this will make this ride higher, but we're talking about a dirt road with a lot of weight on this thing. I think there'll be enough flex and it'll, I think there'll be enough positive contact in that mesh area down on the road. I don't think this is gonna make a big difference other that provide protection for these vulnerable edges. All right, so I just did that in uh, four places. One, two, three, four, just to keep it square while I'm working with it. I'm gonna have to cut that end off over there and I'm gonna have to do a million little welds on these things to keep them down there. I'm assuming that over time these will just wear out and do nothing. So that's why I got to weld it. Um, so here we go. So when I was building the tire trailer, I used a lighter gauge and I regretted it. It's falling apart, doing weird stuff. This stuff took a lot longer to cut and um, I can just tell it's way thicker. This is the thickest they had at the metal supply place. So here we go. All right, she's looking like a drag now. I'll cut there. And then uh, next thing I need to do is weld it in about 10,000 places. So I guess that's what we'll do next. My wife got me this like Christmas, something like that. And I love it, and I use it all the time. It's got little drawers and stuff. And uh, But you know what it really has made a really good welding cart, even though I've wanted to get a welding cart or make a welding cart. But look, it just sits right on there. And if you turn it this way, it just sits perfectly on here. And then you can get to this panel. Make sure you got enough wire and goodies. And it uh, works out perfect. So we're gonna hook that up and get her going. You know, I always get nervous. I haven't welded since last fall or spring. And I always get a little nervous. So I'm a little nervous. Happy about my 30 amp plugs in here. These things work great. So. I'm just gonna go for it and see if I remember what I'm doing here. You know, it's like you forget all your settings and your heat settings and your feed settings and you kind of hope to figure it out. So let's we'll see if we can figure it out. So if it's been a long time since I welded, I take my helmet and I put it out here in the sun because I want the sun to charge the batteries because we're only talking about our eyeballs and get this thing to maybe sit up here yeah i don't want it to sit too far on the ground or you know what will happen to that thing what are you going to destroy today <laughs> that you you didn't tell everybody you already destroyed my towel yeah there's that towel he destroyed right there part of it nuts
this is probably going to work. Um, I'm just welding on these hooks to hook the chain to because you want a triangle so it rides level behind you straight. And then these hooks here, I welded those on to strap down the tractor tire. And I think really the next thing to do is just try it out. The other issue is once we're done with it, we have to leave it outside of our gate because the rail that the gate wheel rides on will just get ripped out of the cement by this thing. So I'm sure we could put a pipe or something down to get it out and in, but what a pain in the butt. Most guys leave their drags outside their house. Um, I see them here and there. So you just create a spot off this road and you just dump it and leave it there. So I guess the next step here is to strap on the tire and give it a test. So the front is doing most of the work. I think when I put the tractor tire on it, maybe it'll help get that mesh down on the dirt. So I guess it's time to give it a try once I can get it out of the gate. All right, so we've decided to try it without the tire that's sitting right there because this thing's pretty heavy. And uh, I had to lift it across the gate, like I said. So we're gonna try it without the tire first, see how it goes. All right. All right, this thing is really working. Um, let's get out and take a look real quick. You can see, you see how it's grading it? So it's not getting these deep ditches right here, these deep, deep washboard. That may be a job for the tractor tire. We'll see. We'll just keep experimenting, huh? Yeah, I like the, how it collects rocks. I can find some beautiful rocks out there. That's right. All right, we stopped because we are gonna get the tractor tire and stick it on here. And then I'm gonna flip it back square because in the sand, it works really good. But when we get on the washboard, it just kind of skips across and I wanna dig. So let's try this out. So that's why I welded those little tabs there on each side. We're gonna crank this thing down so it don't move like last time. Believe it or not, it's super hot out here. First casualty is this uh, this thing pulled out of here I actually thought that my weld would break first and if you look at this one that one's trying to pull out too so back to the drawing board so I just hooked it through this grate down in here Not in, see if 
think that holds on. That's as far as it's going to go. All right, so we're done for now. Look at this one is barely hanging on. Woo! Look at that. And then I just hooked this one down in here. Oh, look at tweak this. It's bending this. So this is the weakest part right here. We need to figure that out, which we will do. And uh, let's go look at the road. It did pretty good. We've been doing it for about an hour. There's, <laughs> see our road's all flat. And then I did another, this is only about an eighth of a mile here. And I've done another two, I did another mile and a half complete. So I got what I wanted to get done, done. So now I got to take this tractor tire off, set it off to the side with the other junked up drags over there. Uh oh, here comes the gate. Get back. Get back. I'm getting messed up on my chain, Jack. And then I'm going to fix these on my next day off, probably next weekend. We'll see. But she works great. Collects lots of rocks, which helps it weight it down, and um, it'll just be nice to um, do this when it's like sprinkling outside and get the road nice and flat. I'm excited. Me too. Do you want to work on this next weekend? Sure. Can't think of anything else you'd rather do next weekend? Maybe camp. We could camp. What? We could go to Dumont. What? Or Glamis. You don't want to work? No. That. It's a homemade hitch. Oh, look at someone's homemade hitch pin we scored. Nice. Yeah, I might have to put that to use. All right, so let's look at the bottom of it. It fared pretty good. We picked up some goodies along the way here. Even, hey, this is part of our initial drag right here. It picked up, it picked up a piece from our other drag. You see that? But as far as the metal holding together, this sanded, see this gets sanded pretty good, right? But I don't see any big tears or bends anywhere. All the welds are holding up. All these welds. It's pretty good. Yeah. So as far as the, the drag structure, I think we built a good one. We just gotta remedy the weak point here. Look at all these rocks. I had to dump this thing out right here because I can't lift it over. All these challenges. All right, we'll get her in here. So that's it. Peace out. <laughs> See, you're not a troublemaker all the time. Are you? No, oh, you're already trying. Can we just relax? <laughs> <laughs>